Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, is we are going to discuss how to write the logic to find a number is a perfect number or not. So, along with the logic, as we will see here flow also. So, with the help of a flow chart diagram, okay. Here, the concept is a is a perfect number checking, perfect number logic. So, first of all, what is a perfect number? So, what is a perfect number means the sum of factors of a given number except itself is equals to the same number, sum of factors of given number. See here, suppose the take one value, suppose n value is a 6. So, we need to find the factors of this one. So, factors are 1 is a factor or not 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 except itself no need to check with itself. So, 1 is a factor or not, yes 1 is a factor, 2 is a factor or not, yes 2 is a factor, 3 is yes, factor, but here it is a, here it is a 4, it is not a factor, 5 is a not a factor. So, whenever it is a 6, it fails. So, this is a 1. Now, here it is a, so what are the things required? So, first of all, n variable we need to declare and next to repeat the loop how to repeat the loop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to less than n, i is required and here it is a sum of factors. So, whenever the word sum is there, so we need to declare a sum variable. So, is initially we need to declare, we need to declare n value, is i value as well as sum value, sum value. So, logic is very simple. So, what is the logic? Here, so we are repeating the loop loop as i value starts from 1 to 1 to less than itself nothing but i is less than n i plus plus i plus plus every time we are checking if n is divisible by 1 or not if it is divisible then please add 1 to the sum value and 2 is divisible or not nothing but i is divisible or not if if n is divisible by i. How can we say that if remainder equals to 0 just to the sum we are adding the i value sum is equals to sum plus i. This is the logic. If it is a factor add right here it is less than n means what suppose uh, with in this example up to 5 it will repeat. So, 1, 2, 3 factors. So, 1, 2, 3 will be added to sum. So, finally, finally if sum value equals to n value. See 1 plus 2 plus 3 is value is a 6, n value is also 6. So, if sum equals to n is so a both are same just print, print it is a perfect number, it is a perfect number else print it is it is not a perfect number, it is not perfect number this is the logic. So, just convert this logic into the flow chart, convert this logic into the flow chart. See the flow here is the first start, start. So, first we need to declare the variables n, i, sum and we need to read the n value of course, here. So, here is the first declaration integer type n i sum equals to 0, sum equals to 0 and here we are reading the n value, read n value. After reading the n value, now we need to find out, here it is a loop repetition. If i first i equals to 1 initialization, here i equals to 1, this is initialization. And next one we need to check the condition, for every condition two options true or false. What is the condition? i is less than n, this is the condition, is a condition. If i is less than n, if it is a true, so what we have to do we will see. Suppose if condition has failed, if this condition has failed for loop will be terminated, come out and here it is if else execute. 
if sum is equals to n print perfect else print not perfect nothing but if for loop condition has failed is a false then it will go and check if condition it's a final condition to print the output value if sum value equals to n if this condition is a true and here it is we need to print it's a perfect number and if this condition has failed false and here we need to print it's not a perfect number only one will print either perfect or not perfect and here it terminates the flow it will end this is a failure case whenever this for loop condition has failed as we are checking if both are equal if equal is a perfect or else is a not perfect suppose if condition is a true the control move inside and it will check one more if condition so if this condition is a true it will check one more if condition what is that if condition n mod i equals to 0 n mod i equals to 0 this is if condition if condition is a true sum is equals to sum plus i if condition is a true true sum is equals to sum plus i compound assignment operator i have written so directly sum plus is equals to i after that it will increase that i plus plus so here here it will increase i plus plus so modify modify after modify again it will check the condition here it will go and check the condition again sir suppose if this condition inner condition is a true it will add sum is equals to sum plus i and then it will increase ok suppose if this condition has failed without executing this statement this statement will skip and directly i plus plus executes so here directly i plus plus executes if this condition falls so this is the flow ok this is outer for loop condition this is inner if condition and this if condition is here so total three conditions are there one two three so this is one for loop and this is if block inside the for loop and this is if block outside to for loop this is how the perfect number executes okay so this is the logic of perfect number to find out and this is the flow how the perfect number logic executes in the application hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you